Hi everyone, welcome back to Sharp Minds. My name is Shay. I am the owner of the site. Uh, today I am bringing you our five quick tips for dealing with guilt. Now this is something that I am personally experiencing um, surrounding the death of my dad who died of an overdose and I've been, you know, feeling guilty as to how like this could have been prevented and I thought it would be a good video to film in case any of you are also struggling with feeling guilty, especially surrounding a death in the family or a death of a friend. So the first tip is to accept that it's okay to feel this way and that we won't always feel this way. The second tip is to journal and kind of make sense of your feelings, you know, like what happened, why you're feeling this way, and what works for you in making sense of the feelings as well as trying to decrease the feelings of guilt. Now I've spoken a lot about journaling in our previous videos, so if you haven't seen those I'll have them linked down below. They are kind of just like tips, mental health tips, wellness tips, um, and I speak a lot about journaling because I believe that is it is a really good, effective way of putting your feelings somewhere and getting them off your chest. So our third tip is to be kind to ourselves during this time and remember that it's okay to feel this way because you're feeling guilty doesn't mean you are guilty. It is just a feeling that will pass and during the time when it's not passing we need to remember that it's okay that you know we take care of ourselves and we just treat ourselves kindly so the fourth tip is to learn from the experience personally I'm finding that really hard but hopefully as I progress with you know working through my guilt I will come to learn why I have been feeling this way and how I can take it into future situations. So right now it may seem like really hard to learn from the experience, but journaling about it can also help that, I guess, which is why I put it as a tip number two. So learning from this kind of helps you know what not to do in the future. So for example, if you have had an argument with a friend and you have offended them and you feel guilty, knowing what you said, how you said it, and kind of what the all around situation was, you can learn from that and take that into future situations with that friend and other friends and family and just basically whoever you meet. So learning from why we're feeling a certain way is really important in letting it go and moving forward and kind of being a better person, if that makes sense. And the fifth tip is to reach out, whether that's reaching out to family, friends, or a licensed therapist. It is a really great way to unload your feelings and have like an outside perspective on why these feelings have come up for you and just knowing that you have support is really comforting and to know that people have you know had similar situations happen and what they have done and kind of just getting the support that you need can sometimes be all that you need for me i need you know all of these tips you might need one, you might need two, you might need all of them, which is why I thought it would be a really good video to make. So I guess those are our tips. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as part of our growing community. We are also on Instagram and Facebook and I'll have those social links down below as well. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry if you're feeling guilty or you're not having a great time right now. I know a lot of people aren't. Personally, I aren't. I am not either. But, you know, this will pass and we will get through it together. I guess I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.